Hello and welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a quick guide on nodes in Rust. Now, this video is mainly tailored towards newer players. However, there is some information that you might not be aware of, even if you've been playing the game for a while. Starting off with the basics, there are three types of nodes in Rust, stone, sulfur, and metal. Stone is mainly used for upgrading the base. Sulfur is used for explosives and ammo, and metal is used for crafting pretty much everything else. You can mine these nodes with a range of tools, however anything less than a metal pickaxe will only yield you a percentage of the potential ore. It is therefore recommended that once you have your starter base down, you get yourself an upgraded tool before you start farming for a main. Metal pickaxes are actually quite easy to get if you hit the road and kill scientists, loot the tool crates, and if you're still struggling, you can even go to places such as mill tunnels, farm the scientists there, and you'll be sure to get lots and lots of pickaxes. Another easy way is to simply go to Outpost and get yourself a jackhammer. It's a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth the investment in my opinion. When using the ice pick, you want to miss the sparkle on the first hit and it'll actually allow you to mine the node faster than if you were to hit the sparkle every single time. This doesn't work on stone nodes, only metal and sulfur. When using the jackhammer, if you do short bursts instead of holding it down, it reduces durability loss and it is slightly quicker. Nodes are more common to spawn around hilly areas as well as mountains and rock formations. You can see here I'm marking the map. As you can see, the grey areas on the map denote the hilly areas. Generally, everyone prioritizes stone nodes at the start of white because it's essential for getting down a base without having to smelt up the metal. Sulfur is prioritized end game because once you've got your base down, all you really need is explosives to continue raiding. So it's important to know where to look when you're looking for nodes, especially the different types, because there are variances when it comes to the spawns. Stone is more likely to spawn when it's in a grassy area. In the desert and the snow, it is a three-way split with a 33% chance for each node. However, when you're in the grassland, it's a 50% chance to be a stone node and 25% for the other two. These stats are coming from a Reddit post, so they're not 100% confirmed or accurate, but from experience, I would say that they're fairly on the money. Nodes will respawn as they start to get mined. However, this isn't instant and there will be a delay. You'll notice at the start of white when everyone's gathering up stone nodes, you'll start to see a lack of stone. This doesn't actually mean that you can mine out one type of the three nodes. In fact, if you mine out all the stone nodes, mainly only stone will be the one respawning. During wipe day when everyone's running from the starter side of the beach, you'll start to see a lot of nodes build up on the opposite side of the map. This is because they're not being farmed over there, and so to a certain degree they are building up. Added to the fact that the snowy side actually spawns more nodes than any of the other regions of the map, snowy areas are a great place to get a lot of nodes. Another spot that they build up is generally around monuments where there's a lot of PvP or high tier loot, such as launch site or airfield, most people will go there to do the cards and PvP for crates. Hence, not many people go there to farm nodes, as it's quite risky, and so most people don't have pickaxes on them when they go to the area. This creates a hotspot of nodes, and it's quite a high-risk, high-reward situation. Do keep in mind that the build-up of nodes only comes down to the player base. For example, the majority of people won't bring a pickaxe to launch site, however, if for some reason they do, then you're not going to see any build-ups. Likewise for snow, if everyone loves the snow on a certain server and everyone rushes out there to build there, then you're actually probably going to see a build-up of nodes in other areas, not in the snow. Another thing that's cool to note is if you go to a swamp or the abandoned caverns, you'll commonly find sulfur as well as the sulfur that can be picked up in the center and around the water. It's not that useful because there's not too many nodes that will spawn here, but it is something cool to note. That concludes the majority of the things I know about nodes and all the things that I thought would be helpful to share to you guys. If there's anything that you think I missed, feel free to update me in the comment section and I'll be sure to leave a pinned comment with any updates that I think are very important. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below and I will see you in the next one.